What's up, everybody? This is Browncoat67 for our fifth episode of How to Build a Castle in Minecraft. If you've been following along so far, you've got a pretty awesome start going on. And today we're going to go ahead and head inside the dungeon. We're going to go to the main keep where we are going to start setting things up. If you remember in our last video, we created this building and uh, it is very dark and empty on the inside right now. We used fill commands that were hollow. And we put walls on the side of the central building. I did break a door just so that I could come in and kind of take a look at the inside. I wanted to see how big it was. Um, so that right there, if I'm not mistaken, for me is on what? Negative uh, 90. And the front one up here, all the way at the front, should be like negative 102. So it's about 12 spaces in is where I have that door. Not important right quite yet, but it will be. Because we're going to decorate up this room here, which is going to be the throne room. And then I believe we're going to turn this into our great hall. Which is going to be a massive feasting hall for all the important guests. Alright, let's have some fun. Alright, so I want to do some kind of runner that's going to go down the center of the throne room. And my colors so far have mostly been red and blue, but in the last episode we used the Hyrulean Shield as our uh, kind of coat of arms for the kingdom, so which opens me up to a little yellow and a little gray. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a runner pattern. The very middle I'm just going to do as probably white wool. And then, like I said, I'm going to do a pattern. So let's take this out a little bit. And let's think about this. So I'm going to start with blue as being the next pattern. Uh, then red. Then yellow. Then probably gray. And then let's take that back to the yellow again. And we're going to go to the red. And we're going to go to the blue. It's a little colorful, but this, I think, is going to be a fairly bright throne room by the time we're finished, which is kind of odd for me to say right now. But yeah, I definitely, definitely think I'm going to use this. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you're going to do. go ahead and get rid of the wool now I'm done with that and I'm gonna take out some of the other blocks that we've already had in this case I'm gonna grab the deep slate brick stairs and the block and I'm also gonna do the blackstone go ahead and grab your chains your lanterns your torches and I am also going to be using these banners here in a moment as well but first I've got some building I want to do so right here at the end is going to be stairs that would head up to where the king is it's gonna be a raised platform and I'm thinking I might make that really raised up like this yeah, that's like a it's like a six foot ledge right there. That's a pretty good raised platform. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up there. Good. All right, that's a good start. Now, would, there are going to be some columns as well. So first, I guess, I need to get the ceiling going. Um, up here, this is going to be some apartments for the defenses of the dungeon. So I'm going to have a little bit of a lower ceiling up front. And then it will raise up uh, for the throne room, which is going to be much higher. This is so bright. I'm going to just put a couple torches down real quick. These are totally not going to stay here. But, man, that did not help at all. <laughs> it's so dark. Yeah, that's not ominous. Okay, so I'm um, thinking 
As I remember in the video, this is going to be where feet are. So this is going to be where the ceiling is originally when you come in. And this is going to be at what? Y level 102. 103. And I'm probably going to run that outward till, I don't know. What are we thinking here? 96. Yeah, probably 96. So I can just do a fill command. All right, so I'm doing a fill command from 139, which is on the left side of the throne room. 103, which is the level that I found I want the ceiling at. And uh, negative 96, which is about, I think it was like five or six blocks into the throne room. Um, then I'm going to 129, which is on the opposite side of the throne room on the right side over here. 103 is, again, that's the ceiling level. And then 102 is the front. So I'm going from negative 96 to 102, and that's on the Z value. And I'm going from 139 to 129 on the X value. Y value, I'm staying on 103 because this is just the floor. There we go. Now I will add walls here, but this is just what I wanted for now to help me plan out kind of what I'm doing for the throne room. Uh, the next step is the floor for the second floor. This one is going to be at this position here, which is, all right, so I'm at 104 here. So 104, 105, 106, 107 is where the floor is going to be. And I know that all the way back there is negative 71 from the last video because the outside wall is negative 70. So I can do another fill command right now. Fill. And I'm going to do 139, 107. And I'm going to do negative 102 to start because that's the front wall up here. And I'm going to take that to 129. So I just went from the left side of the building to the right side on my X value. Staying on 107, which is because this is going to be just a flat floor or ceiling. And then from 102, I'm taking that all the way to negative 71. Deep slates. Bricks. And what you'll see there is I just added the next level, the next ceiling. So now I pretty much have the general outside form of the throne room ready to go i can start you know adding some details adding some decorations getting all cool and creative all right, so where that floor is here i'm going to switch over to my my blackstone and i'm going to put a column down here i'm going to put a couple torches down just so we can see we will get some lights set up in here but for now it'll help if you'll be able to see what i'm doing so i'm using blackstone here And then I'm going to use stairs to just kind of wrap around into the wall like that. Same thing over here. It's the last layer of that uh, first floor there for the defense apartments. And then I'm going to bring that black stone down. Just like that. And then we'll do some more columns down this way. I'm thinking right, right here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take the black stone and I'm going to run it all the way up to the ceiling. Same thing on the opposite side. There we go. Switching back over to the stairs and we're going to take this and wrap this around the bottom of the column. Just like that. And I think we're going to add one more. And again, we're going to put some torches down so we can kind of see what the heck's going on over here. I'm going to put these in these back corners. And I'm going to do that same thing again. But this time, obviously, it's only a uh, 90 degree turn rather than a 180. But see, right away now, we're adding some columns. So as the room extends away from you, as it gets further away, the room looks like it gets narrower, the columns come out. It adds a lot of 
of uh, definition and texture to the room. A lot of Minecraft rooms are boring and, and very flat, so the more you can add protrusions and other decorations from the walls, the better it's going to look. Which is going to make the next part really cool. So this one here, I'm going to take that black stone, and I'm going to come out probably through... I'm going to come out three, and then two, and then one. Same thing on the other side. Make it come out three, two, and then one. We're going to switch over to those stairs, and we're going to put them upside down, like so. There. And now that is something that also will help add some more definition to it as you're coming into the throne room. I mean, look at that. Now, if I were being a cool person like myself, I would probably hang some chain from right here. And I'd probably hang a lantern from that. So now I got light hitting on those to really accent those. And these torches that I have, I could probably position these on the columns right above the stairs. I like that. You could probably do the same thing back here. Like so. Can eliminate these. Alright, and then where this door is here that leads to the Great Hall, uh, we're also going to add one to the other side. We're not going to get to this probably in this video, uh, but we will be getting to the Great Hall. So we're coming along pretty good on the throne room. The only thing I have to say is it feels a little dark and dungeony. It's not quite bright enough yet. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to trade out some of the material items I have here, and I'm going to take out our banners. These are going to help quite a bit. We're also going to do a give command. Give at P or at S, depending on if it's just you or not. But I'm going to do give at S light. And this is going to give me what is called a light block. You can use this to light things up without having to have like a torch or something like that. A light here. Put them on these torches to make them brighter than they are. So now when I put the light block away, you'll see that it still keeps the light, but the blocks themselves are invisible and they can't be touched. So it's still not quite bright enough. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add them onto the sides of this lantern. Gonna kind of exaggerate how bright that is. All right, I'm gonna grab a polished black stone brick wall as well. So these are going to be protruding out from the wall. Like right here, I've got this doorway. I'm gonna have this come out here. And I'm gonna grab my chain. I'm gonna drop the chain from it, of course, and then I'm gonna hang a lantern. From here, I could take another light block. And I can position them around like so. Alright, so switching to the banners, I'm going to start hanging some of these up. So from the very top, I'm going with the Hyrulean Shield ones that we did for the Kingdom banners. Then the next one dropping down, we're going to have is blue. And then the lowest level here will be red. Now I'm thinking we'll probably put those kingdom banders here again on the outside edges. Like that. That looks pretty cool. So the throne is going to be right here. We're going to have banners behind it as well. So I'm thinking I'm going to start with the... Let's see, how tall is the throne going to be? 
probably all the way up to about here. So honestly, the top blocks are where we're going to want to stay. And then we're going to do, do blue on the outside of that one. Switch to the reds. And then probably switch back to the coat of arms again. Now I am going to put a light block front and center here. Like so. Because I really want these to stand out. Alright, I think I'm good with the banners and the torches and the light blocks. I think we're looking pretty good at this point. I might even get rid of these side torches here with the light blocks up I don't think that will be necessary I like that look that's a lot cleaner cool so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these banners away because I don't want to lose those and now I need to decide what I'm gonna make my throne out of do I want to go with a quartz throne that's nice and white I think that's what I'm actually gonna do with smooth quartz Go smooth quartz. I'm also going to grab a smooth quartz block and smooth quartz slabs. So starting off from the throne, we're going to come what one, two, three, four out from the wall probably. I'm going to start putting a stair down, and then I'm going to add another stair to the sides like this, so that kind of creeps up. Now I'm going to take regular blocks and I'm going to put them here and here and here and here as well as in the middle and the back so that it's going to start looking like this. We'll switch over to these slabs. I'm going to run it like this and I'm going to put three of them back here. And then we're going to switch over to the regular blocks. We're going to put two and one like this. I'm going to switch to the stairs. One on each side like this. And then one here and one here. Now I might even do that. I think that looks pretty good. I think that's going to be our throne right there. So coming into the throne room, this is what it would look like. It's not boring. The ceilings are a little dark, but that's okay. We don't need them to be really obvious right now. If you do want to add some detail to that, though, you can. One of the things you can do is you can come along and add uh, stairs to the... Here, let me grab some uh, deep slate brick stairs. Same material as the, the building wren. And we can put them upside down like this. Doing this will add a little bit more uh, texture, a little bit more depth to your build. And like I said, it is fairly dark up here. So you don't have to have a whole lot of detail. But, you know, you can do this. You can add some slabs as well, like maybe down the middle. If you wanted to add uh, maybe like some kind of support beam or strut. Just like that. And then if I were to grab that deep slate slab, like I was saying, we could take this and uh, could run it like so. We have to replace this with a regular block. Then we can start slabs right out from the other side. And then I would probably, from here, since I don't want it to run and block the banners, I would probably take that out into like a T formation. Maybe right here above the stairs going up to the raised platform here. And that is going to match up really well with the upside down stairs you have on the sides. So just by doing that, we can add a little bit more texture, a little bit more depth to the ceiling. All right, so heading into what is going to become the Great Hall, kind of similar to what we had going on over here. Uh, we are going to separate off the front. 
So I'm going to do a floor just like I did on the other side. But this time I'm going to take it on my X value from 141 to 152. So for the Y level, actually instead of 103, I think I might raise this up to 104. And I'm just going to run that all the way down. So let's go fill. 141. And that's going to be 104. And I'm going to take that from negative 104. What is that, two? I'm gonna run that all the way down to 152 on the X, staying at 104 here, and negative 71 on that one, which is the Z axis. We're gonna go deep slates, bricks. All right, there we go. Now, I did leave it a little bit further out. I didn't want to interfere with anything that we already had built. Um, if you have been following along, I did at one point in time have us erase some command blocks with a fill command. So, I'm going to try to avoid ruining things we've already done moving forward because I'm just that kind of smart guy. You know what I mean? Alright, so I've got the ceiling set up and it should be running all the way down. Marvelous. Perfect. I do want the king to have his own private entrance to the great hall so if he would step down from his throne it would probably line up right here and then from here it's going to be a one step down so the king is still going to be raised up we're going to have a small platform out here it's going to extend out probably what six two three four five six seven we'll do seven we're going to take that all the way down, just like so. Okay, so having a raised platform there, and then there will be some stairs up, but I'm going to have them just on this far outside edge, like so. We're going to have some long tables in here. And for that, I'm going to be using dark oak stairs. These are going to be for the tables. For the chairs, I'm going to be using spruce stairs. And I'm, I'm going to do this with no mods for items. You can use furniture mods. Obviously, we're on Java Edition if you want to to make this look better. But there are people that are going to be following along on Bedrock. And I want to make sure this is something that everybody can do. So I'm going to be trying to do this with vanilla Minecraft build items. And I think the table's going to start... Actually, I'm going to put down deep slate brick first. And you'll see why in a second. I'm going to back this up a couple blocks from the edge up here. Here. I don't really know how long I want to make these. Something like that. Now I'm going to grab my... Uh, I'm going to grab my dark oak stairs. I'm going to put them upside down like this. Up against the deep slate that I put down. And I'm going to start replacing it with upside down stairs on this side, which as you can see, makes a pretty convincing long table. Now I am going to shorten this up because I think I'm going to add a kitchen down here on the end. So definitely going to shorten that up just a smidge. Okay. Now for chairs. What you're going to do is you're going to start with just the stair. You're going to put it down like so. And then to quickly make it look more like a chair, slap a couple trap doors on it like this. Now look at this. This looks a lot more like a chair. You can even add one in the back like this if you want it to be a tall chair. So I'm going to do that again. Got to leave these two. And then put here, leave two. Put one here, leave two. Put one here, leave two. Put one here, leave two. All right, so I'm going to put the end of the table as probably right here then. There. And I'm going to come through with these trap doors.
perfect, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this on both sides of the table. Leave two spaces. Leave two. Leave two. Leave two. Bam. So just using the items that we have in the game, we can actually make some pretty cool looking stuff. Then we're going to hang some lanterns over the ends of the table and the middle of the table. I want it to be near where the heads are so everything kind of lines up. All right, there we go. And again, we have those light blocks so we can go through and make this much brighter when we're done. But I'm going to do the same thing over here because I'm going to make a second table. So one, two... And I'm going to line it up with that being perfect. There we go, this out. There we go. Now, same thing with the chairs. We're going to take it and we're going to run it just like so. Right on the other side as well. Yep, skip two, skip two, skip two. Perfect. So now that I got those tables down and the chairs down, it actually is starting to look pretty cool. Definitely looking like a dining hall. For the king's table, I'm going to go ahead and put deep slate across the very, very front. I'm going to leave two empty spaces on each side. And then I'm going to put those stairs down for the table. Like so. There. I'm going to have to go ahead and grab some spruce planks here to finish off the king's big chair because he gets a fancy chair. And I'm going to go ahead and replace the dark oak because I think I'm done with that. And then and this here. So as you can see, the king gets a nice big fancy chair. And then for the two that are beside it, we're going to go ahead and do the same things we have been doing. Just like that. So we are starting to come along pretty good. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of the wood stuff that I have. And I'm going to get another rack. I'm going to get flint and steel. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. And in these corners, and I think I'm going to do this probably four blocks like so. And then I'm going to put the yeah, stone up like that. Yes. And then we're going to catch these on fire. I did netherrack because netherrack does not stop burning. It stays burning. And then for the, for the top here, I think I'm going to go to the stairs. And I'm going to put the stairs... Upside down, of course, like so. I'm going to grab the deep slate slab. And I'm going to put slabs in front of the fire, like so. So now we have these nice roaring fires going on back here. Right, I'm going to go ahead and grab some banners out. 
again. And the King's Banners, of course, I think I'm actually going to do an alternating sides back here. And I'm going to have red to the outsides and blue in the middle. That looks pretty good there. And then for the walls here, I'm going to line up and we're going to do red out here. I'm going to do blues in here. All right, it's starting to come along really good. I like this a lot. Love it. All right, so now I think we're gonna have to work on this kitchen down here, right? So let's put some walls up. Maybe not full walls. Maybe we can do that. And I got that, what, two blocks out there? One, two. All right, and then we'll switch to the stairs. Yeah. Kind of have like an open archway. Yes, I, I, I enjoy that. So this is going to be the kitchen. And like what we have kind of with the king's area out there, we're definitely going to have to have some like big cooking areas, right? One, two there. One, two. One, two. So we're going to start kind of forming this. It's going to be like a massive, like, cooking fireplace area. It's kind of hard to explain, but you'll see once I start getting it into form. Put these here, here. Back here as well. And I'm going to try to carefully insert these across the top here without making them turn. I want them to face forward. There we go. And then we're going to do netherrack. Now it doesn't, oops, doesn't have to stay netherrack. I'm actually, I might replace that. I'm not sure yet. But again, this is just if you want to have open fires. Netherrack is definitely the, uh, the block of choice in my opinion. So now I'm thinking we're going to need, probably grab some cauldrons. campfire maybe some water so maybe I can put campfires here and I can put the cauldrons in front of the flames and then we'll put water inside the cauldrons maybe I need to bring those outward a little bit more I don't want the uh, smoke to be hitting upward like that. I want it to rise naturally. So I'm going to take that outward. And I'm going to switch these to upside down stairs, like so. And then I think I'm going to change these as well. just kind of fill this in all right so it's a really big kind of cooking area here for lots of meat soup whatever's going on for obviously what's going to be a royal banquet or feast so that being said we're gonna to have to move on to what we need next I'm going to get rid of the buckets get rid of the campfire get rid of the cauldron 
And I'm going to grab iron bars, iron door, a lever, and chickens. So with that, I'm going to take this out. Put a door here. I'll take that out. Then I'll probably reposition this like this. Then I'll add some more of these iron bars here. Perfect. I'm gonna put that door and a lever. And then on the inside, chickens. Over here, get rid of the chickens, levers, doors, bars. I'm going to grab some. Let's get a barrel. Let's get those dark oak stairs again. So I'm going to have these barrels stacked standing upward off to the sides like so. I'm also going to come over here to the outside. I'm going to add stairs that are upside down and put a barrel on it like this sideways. So this would be like probably beverage barrels that they would have. So they're on their side so that the, the liquid can be dispensed. And then over here, let's see what else I got. And then brown shulker boxes actually pass off pretty good if you're trying to make them look like crates. So you can stack some crates over there like that. And now we're going to... I'm going to put these down like so. And then I'm actually going to... Fix it like this. I just need that block to put those upside down stairs against. Perfect. That's a pretty good working table. You got some barrels, some crates, cooking area, chickens. It's very dark in here though, so I think what I'm going to do is I have torches. This is for the help, so they don't probably need lanterns. Got a torch up here. Now I am going to go back and grab those light blocks that I had earlier. Get rid of some of this other stuff. Put this back in my inventory. And I can get rid of these now. So with those light blocks, I'm just going to go ahead and add some light. go and then again I'm gonna do it like this around these lanterns I really want them to light up the area well and then I'll probably do it to these end lanterns here too it's okay if there is a little variation in lighting I can actually add a little bit more atmosphere if you have some darker sections to walk through. It doesn't all have to be really well lit. But just remember, if it is dark and you don't have it on peaceful or mob spawning off, that you will get unfriendly mobs spawning in those areas. Here we go. And I'm going to put... some lights here like that all right there we go I have an awesome great hall for royal feasts a really cool stocked up kitchen we're gonna head out here to this sweet looking throne room definitely adding some details here and again this was all inside of the donjon or the main keep that we built in the fourth episode that was the last episode 
Make sure you check out the next video to keep working on your castle. If it's not showing up, then it's not done yet. Make sure you subscribe so they get notified when it's finished. This is Browncode67. Thanks for watching the fifth episode. I'll catch you next time.